How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be having another pack battle. This time around we're going to be having a Japanese pack battle, something that I haven't done before. Ancient Raw versus Future Flash. So kind of like past versus future, and I think this is a really, really great matchup. Um, the reason why I'm doing this pack battle is I actually got these boxes from Pokemon Center Japan. So I did get them for MSRP. And I think it's going to be cool. I didn't open both of these packs before, or both of these sets, because I was just opening Paradox Rift. Um, we'll see what we can pull in either of these, so let me cut open the seal for both of these. And see what we can pull. I think it all comes down to what um, super rare we're going to pull out of either one. But any who's, any who's. Let me get this off. There we go and open the seal on the future flash and then where do we put you i guess i'll just keep him in the box well well never mind never mind the box broke abort mission abort mission okay phone just randomly stopped recording again something that does happen occasionally um anyways we mustn't be deterred by that we're just gonna key get these packs out of these boxes right here. The first one unfortunately broke. I don't know if that one was still on the on the recording. But yeah, the first one unfortunately broke. So we're just gonna do it like this. Originally I was gonna keep them in the box. But oh well. Oh well, at least this one didn't break. Um, I'll probably glue the other one because I do collect these boxes. I have like a ton of them in one of my cabinets. And any who's let's get on with this opening i suppose okay and here we are past versus future we do have a lot of packs so let me just get straight into it it's been a while since i've lost open japanese packs so if i do seem a bit hesitant on opening these don't mind me don't mind me as i've said it all comes down to what super rare we we pull in either one um, I still don't know how I want to do it. I think I want to go differentiating, like, as I always do, one pack from that side and then one pack from the other side. I think that's how I'm going to do this. And then we shall see who will come out on top. I also don't remember if these particular sets feature illustration rest. I think they do. I just don't know if one is promised. I don't know if a special illustration where is promised, or three of them in each box like it used to be. There was a set in between where that wasn't the case, I think it was Shiny Treasure EX. Here we go, our first pull on the ancient side, so let's put that over there. Let's put that over there. I'm not going to be counting the commons and uncommons. I'm just going to be counting the real pulls, like the double rares, so on and so forth, and then of course the, the super rares. We'll see what we can pull of these. Hey, here we go. I think that's a pretty good one. I think that might be better than the than the pull we've got on the Ancient Roar side. Of course, the cards that you want to pull from, from both of these sets is, is Roaring Moon and then Iron Valley. And actually two cards that I would love to have. I still need those for my collection. I haven't picked them up in English yet. If I do pull them in Japanese, then, you know, so be it. They'll go into my into my collection either way. But I think I really want to see a, a Japanese special illustration rare. Because I haven't seen well, actually, no, that's not true. I have seen some of them. I think. Actually, have I? I'm not too sure. I've pulled um a few trainers. But I don't think I've actually pulled like a, a Pokemon special illustration rare. So I'd love to see how the Japanese one actually look in person. I do know the the confetti effect. It's like way different in, in Japanese and it looks, well, of course, who would have thought way better than in English. So I would, I'm actually really, really curious to see how that would look like in person. Here is a rare, I'm not going to be counting the rares as well, because they usually don't matter into the equation. Unless there are some like really, really rare, rare or short printed rare, if that makes sense. That might turn the tides, but I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Got an Onyx. Hey, a illustration rare, not too bad. Or an art rare, right? In in Japanese, they're called art rares. I've completely forgotten about that. I think three of them are promised in each box. 
me see if I can do it without the light glaring. That's the best I can do. Okay, our first artware for for the opening. No matter about that, we've got a Mac B. I think, I don't know if this is the set or either one of these. Well, speaking of illustration rares, we've got the mushroom. Yo, that looks interesting to say the very least. It, it does look very, very interesting. It's very well done. I don't think it's for me, but I know a lot of people absolutely love this artist, Komiya. A lot of people absolutely adore this artist and I can definitely see why. The illustration is actually top notch. All right, moving it on. What was I saying? Um, so I don't know if this is the set that features the the Groudon art rare. That's the one I really, really want to get. I haven't pulled that in Paradox Rift, so I would love to get a copy. I don't know if this is, if either one of the set is the one that features it. It might have been, might have been Triple Beat, although I don't think so. I think it was way later that featured the Groudon. You know what, we'll just pull it to prove that this is one of the sets that feature them. Still waiting for a Rayquaza. Dude, a Rayquaza art rare? I think would look very, very cool, right? A Rayquaza art rare would look insane, in my opinion. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe that's just me thinking that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a special illustration rare for these, right? So here we go, we've got another pull on the future side, we'll put you right here. We'll see if the, if the site from the past can keep up. We'll see if this, dude, if we pull on uh, a textured EX right now, then we do know that the seating might be exactly the same, at least in the same spot, although I don't think so. Nope, that's an art rare, that's an art rare. Not too shabby, the pre-evolution to explode, which name I've forgotten. But here we are. We'll put you right there. And we also have Professor Seda right there. Okay, let's keep on going. Luckily, most of these well, actually these booster packs only have five cards each. So you go you do go through them fairly quickly. But there you go. Nothing in that one, unfortunately. We shall see. So far for both of these sites, the super rare hasn't been spotted on either side. So we'll see. I'm really, really curious to see what the super rares will be in these ones. So these ones should actually be, well, I think most of the the um, booster packs that I do buy are mostly temper, temper free. I actually haven't bought, lucky me, Knock on wood and all that. I actually haven't pulled a or bought a single booster box that has been tampered with. So I, w I always buy from like reputable sources, reputable buy buyers or sellers more like. I'm the buyer. So I've never had any issues with either one of the booster boxes I've bought so far. Lucky me. And I don't even know who would go out of their way. And oh, here we go. Zarina. That's good, we'll put you over here. Lucky me, I don't know who would go out of their way and like tamper with these. Um, but either way, these are from Pokemon Center Japan, so that's basically as safe as you can get, if you will. That these are completely tamper free. So I was just mentioning, I did use Tenso again for shipping my stuff from Japan over to here. And it did, everything went smoothly, everything went very, very fast. The one thing that I, that did bother me is, um, the shipping prices have gotten a little bit too expensive. I think. They've gotten way more expensive than they did in the past. Usually for a package, I would usually pay like between 30 and 40 euros. And now that one cost me 64. And it didn't even have that much more stuff in it. So, I don't know why. Oh, here we go. A... another... Um, art rare. There we go. Porygon Z. Yo, that actually looks really, really cool. I actually really like that one. Also, the, like, things in the background. This looks like an old hardware store. Almost, or something. Really, really cool. like that illustration. Man, okay. So, a lot of these illustration rares I wouldn't have seen before because, well, first of all, I didn't open this set. And then I didn't pull that many or that many great ones from... Um, from Paradox Rift either. So it's actually quite nice to like see 
a lot of these now, in person. I also had a comment recently about one of my posts, um, why I showed off the Alephion VMAX and I said like, I should have definitely ranked this higher in my in my rank list, like in person the card is beautiful. Like someone was mentioning below, oh now that you have the card it should be ranked higher. And that's not what I meant by, by posting, I meant if you have a card actually in person versus like seeing it on a computer screen, your opinion might differ very very much. Like, usually cards are beautiful in person, and for some of these, like especially Japanese texturing, well that one was English, or the texturing, you just can't show that on a TV screen or computer screen. It's just not possible. You have to see that card in person to be able to, to know if it actually is worth your time or not, right? If that makes sense. So that's what I was alluding to. Of course I do own the card now, so that's nice. Okay, so I should have definitely charged my phone before doing this. Um, it just turned off. I don't think any of the footage was lost, luckily and surprisingly. And let's just continue with this pack, I suppose. Man, that was, that was something else. Never had that happen before. But no pull in that one, luckily. Man, imagine if that was a really good pull in that one, no one would have believed me. But here we go, we are back, and most of the packs are still sealed, so it's all good. This time the phone is charged, so... The pulls can come in now. Kingdra, that's a really cool looking Kingdra. Very, very nice. Alright. Let's see, we're almost done with both, both right sides, and so far we've pulled... Two illustration wares on both sides and two EX cards on both sides. Fairly interesting. Um, as I've said multiple times before, it all comes down to the to the super rare. What we pull in either one. I think that is gonna decide the winner. Um, but I'm actually actually intrigued to see what, what we're gonna be able to pull in here. There's a lot of cool ones in here for sure. And it has been a little while since I've last pulled a full-out trainer from a from a Japanese booster box. You know, I do kind of have a, a thing for pulling full-art trainers. Um, never pulled a special illustration. Well, that's not true. I've never pulled an alternate art from the Sword and Shield era, if you want to call it that. From a Japanese booster box. And I don't think I've ever pulled a special illustration rare Pokemon from like these newer sets from the main sets. I think I might have done that in... I definitely done that in V-Star Universe. And then in probably Shiny Treasure EX? No, I don't know. I'm not too sure. But anywho's, anywho's, let's open this last one from the past side, from the Ancient Raw side right here, the last pack on the right side. And see what we can find in here. Just an uncommon. And no, no super rare showing itself in here. Let's see if this is the same with this one, with this side, the future flash side. Let's see, Swablu. We've got a Feebus. And nope. Not in this one either. Okay. So it does kind of come down to the wire, I think. What we have left to pull in this one, I think. There is like two more EX cards, one more illustration wear on both sides at least. And then, well, I guess the super rare. The Super Rare are also still waiting for us. Let's see if it's maybe in, in this one. Let's see, is it in this one? Nope, that's a Crobat. That's a really cool looking Crobat by Uta. Very, very well done. Like that illustration. I do wonder, the illustration rares are also kind of nice. Or art rares, sorry, I keep calling them illustration rares since it's been a while. Since I've last opened a, a Japanese booster box for that matter. Let's see. Nope. Also not in this one. It's getting kind of... Kind of, um... Whatchamacallit? Kind of... Exciting in a way. Like, any of these packs could now hold our Super Rare. Maybe it comes down to the wire in one of my... My earlier openings. I think it actually was my... 100 subscribers. Was it the Dream League opening? No, no, no. It wasn't the Dream League opening. It was the, um... The, whatchamacallit? The Alter Genesis opening. I did open an Alter Genesis booster box. You know, to, to hunt for that Arceus and Palkia and Dialga GX card, the alternate art. And then I did end up buying it in, in a later mail day, and I'm really happy I did. That graded a pristine 10 on CGO with CGC. 
It's like one of my favorite cards in my collection currently. Man, speaking of CGC though, um, I should have my return video up um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. The cards are now making their way back to um, to Germany. They are done grading, unfortunately. Well, that is comically off-centered. I've never seen a Japanese card that off-centered. Um, they are making their way back now to, to their Munich office. So it should be, shouldn't take too long for them to ship them out to me, to my address, and I'm really hope, really, really hoping for some good grades. I actually, I actually did want to peek at the grades just for that Lily card I sent in, um, but I couldn't. Oh, here we go, that's the super rare for Future Flash, an Altaria EX. Here we go, there is the super rare for that side. And Altera EX, let me just show that off up close. Look at the texture, texture looks great. Here we have an Altera EX, the wrong kind of Altera EX, would have preferred the special illustration rare, of course. But there we are. There we are. It's all down to this side. I think if this like pulls a crazy special uh, illustration or special art rare in this one, we're gonna be, we're gonna be having a really, really close fight. It's still up in the air, anyone could still take it. Um, let's see. So yeah, I did want to check the grade just for that first card. Oh, it's a full art trainer! Back-to-back -back super rares. I do think this is better than that one. And that's also really cool. That's another trainer I can, you know, put aside for when I do want to grade some more cards. That's really cool. I think her name is Mela. Yes, I was right, it is Mela, I did remember it correctly. That's a really, really cool super rare. Um, what did I say? I do have a knack for, for pulling full art trainers from these Japanese booster boxes. Man, the texturing. That looks really, really cool, especially the clouds. Like that little thing in the background there. Man, this is cool. This is really, really nice. There we go, that's our super rares. We still have, you know... Um, two more EX cards and one more illustration rare on each side. So let's see if we can find. I'm pretty sure the Mela is is worth more than the Altaria. I just don't know how much more. I don't think it's that much though. I don't think it's that much, but hey, that's still pretty good. Or Beetle. All right, had to make a bit of space on the table, but no, we're good. Let's get back into it. So from that, judging from that poll, I think the past might have won over the future. I think, I don't know if there are any crazy illustration rares in here, or art rares. Um, that could, that could turn the tide of the battle. That could turn the tide, or maybe the Altaria is like 30 euros or something. Hey, I doubt it, but you know, it could be, could be, could be, could be. Let's see, they should be appearing here soon too, right? The illustration or the art rares, I keep calling them illustration rares. Since I've been almost exclusively opening English products. I haven't opened a Japanese product in, in a long time. So I do get kind of used to, to the terminology of English products. I also don't know why they have different names anyways. Like why not keep it uniform now that the English TCG has also adapted to the to the silver borders on their cards. Um, why not make the terminology for rarities the same across the board? Don't know. Don't know. Alright. Maybe this one will feature our missing illustration rare. Nope. Just a Wak Trio and a Mian Shao. Let us let us see. Okay, I'm definitely very, very happy with the Mela. Definitely very, very happy. You do know I do like full art trainers. And I do still have a batch that I do want to send off for grading. So, there you go. There you go. Probably, I think the only problem is that I am having is I think I might have to split up some of the gradings between CGC, PSA, and BGS. I do want to send um, one of the friends in Alola to PSA. Oh, Altaria! Well, that fits. We've pulled the Altaria Normal EX and then the Super Rare version, the Full Art. That fits. So yeah, I do want to send the the 
Friends in Alola to PSA, one of the copies, and then one more copy to BGS, um, both of which will be done through through the middlemen I used for my on the ball promos. Um, so I do want to do that um, somewhat. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got another pull right here, another EX card. There we go. Awfully suspicious that we keep pulling, like, the same kind of card back to back. We've pulled the Super Rare in the Future Flash pack, and then we've pulled the Super Rare in the Ancient War pack. Kind of suspicious, Professor Turo. Nose goes for that one. Still, as I've said, still one more EX cards in this in these booster packs, and then one more illustration round, pretty sure. We'll see. We'll see. Is this the illustration round? Nope. That's not the illustration round. You know, what I should be doing is I should be doing this, right? Um, this pack will have an illustration rare. I can feel it. So now if I open this pack, and I do pull an illustration rare, it'll look very, very cool if I if I do a shorts out of this one. Watch. Illustration rare. No, that's just a normal rare. Just a normal Esparta, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, this pack is gonna have an illustration rare. I can feel it. I can feel it in me bones. I can feel it in me bones. Alright, let's see if I'm right. Nope, just another holo. Man, what's wrong? Okay. So I said it's gonna have an illustration rare, and then it just had a normal holo. Um, this one is just gonna have a holo, it's not gonna have anything special. Let's see if I'm- if- if, um, reverse psychology works. Let's see. Well, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Okay. Just a few last packs right here. And then the battle will be decided. Unless we pull a really, really crazy illustration rare. Here is our last EX card, I'm pretty sure. Um, that is, yeah, that is the past side. Just have to make sure that I'm not mixing these cards up. That is the past, the past side, the ancient raw side. And then this is the future. The future is now, old man. Meme reference from the early 2000s. Just a normal rare in this one. How very, very unfortunate, eh? How very unfortunate. Bear with me here, we're almost done. I know that, that now that the super rares have been pulled, the main, the main event is over, kind of. Nothing much left to say other than, you know, an EX card, an illustration rare, unless there's only two in each booster box. I doubt it. There all, always used to be three. Um, here's Iron Hands, EX from, from the future. So that is our last EX card on each side. I'm pretty sure we should still have one illustration rare. I think it always used to be three, unless they changed it with these ones. Mm, no, that's just an uncommon. I was just gonna say that's our illustration rare, but no. Oh, right. These last few booster packs. The last few booster breaks. There we go, Iron Moth. I've pulled that one before. I think I've pulled that one in English, of course. I didn't I didn't open Future Flash. So there we go. That's kind of unfortunate since I've already opened this one before. I already have the English version of that one. But you know what? That's fine. Actually, let me open the last Future Flash as well. Since this should have nothing in it, right? So let me just go through very quickly for this one. Yep. And then which one are we going to pick? This one. Does this one feature our illustration rare or not? We shall see. Is it gonna be an insane illustration rare? We shall see. Nope. It's a nice looking Latios. Yo, that looks really, really cool. I like that one. Okay. One last illustration rare. Or art rare, sorry. I keep, keep mispronouncing the rarities. At least I got the super rare, right? I always used to call them secret rares in Japanese, but no, they are actually super rares. Okay, so let me just do that to the front. So we do have a little bit of, you know, cards in between. Here I have an Exploud, that's very cool. Exploud. We've got a Magby. What's the last illustration we are gonna be? 
Oh, yo, that's really cool. I don't think that's the star you in the background. I'm pretty sure it's referring to the Pokemon right here. I have completely forgotten what that one is called. But that one looks really, really cool. Yo, check this one out up close, man. That one looks really well done. I'm really happy I pulled this one. I haven't pulled that one before. I think I've pulled this one before in English. Definitely haven't pulled this one. All right, let me just clean this off the table. Okay, so this is what each site looks like. This is what we've pulled. I think it all comes down to mainly these super rares and then maybe these art rares, but I don't think any of these are going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I think this site won very, very easily. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Mela is way more than this Altaria. But anyways, the, the values will be down here somewhere. And wow, I knew this site would win or that is a surprising victory. You know, as always, I have to cover both fronts here. Well, but anyways, that was very, very fun. I'll definitely do more pack battles in the future. I always like doing these. So much variety in the packs. Um, I don't think I'll do another Japanese one. Um, at least not with booster boxes, because that was probably way too much, way too many packs. Um, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a dislike. Tell me in comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.